A number of folks have reached out to me after seeing these raised blue barrel garden beds in some of my videos, and they wondered if maybe I could make a video explaining how I made these beds. Well, I don't have more so that I can show you, but I do have an idea. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my meadow. In this video, we'll deconstruct these blue barrel raised garden beds and I'll tell you a little bit more about how I built them and even link to the resources of how I made these easy to build frames. Let's get to deconstructing. This is one of those blue barrels uh, you see advertised on Facebook. In fact, that's how I found this one. I originally bought it to store water, but I couldn't make it work the way I wanted to. And then one day I got a wild hair and thought, why don't I just cut them in half and make a greens bed out of them? And then I thought, well, if I do that, how am I gonna make them stand up off the ground? And so I did a whole bunch of research and I found this super short YouTube video and I'll put the link in the description. Basically, it's an H where the left side overhangs by about four inches. I made this out of cheap number two or number three grade two by fours. And so the idea is both sides are exactly the same. You're literally making an H. See, this is narrow and then this is wide and you put the extension in the same direction. That threw me for a little bit. And so you extend over on the left side. It could be on the right side. It's just a matter of preference for you as long as you do them on the same side because then when you turn them to face each other, they just lean down. And for me, we settled them down in the grass and the ground here And then because the ground was really soft, once we started putting the, the soil in, after it settled down, my helpers came back and put screws in the side so it would stay fixed and not keep sliding. I drilled holes all along the bottom. And to help fill in the bottom three or four inches, I used some of this punky wood as a filler since the bed only needed to be a few inches deep for greens. After the wood, I then filled them up with my garden soil before planting them out. And it was a really convenient way to grow greens in my greenhouse all winter long. These have been great. So if you're looking for a way to use up things you might have, I'm really digging this particular way of elevating a blue barrel bed. I have them broken down for storage right now, but don't worry, they'll be back in circulation in the garden soon. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. So that's how I made the blue barrels and that deconstruction made it a little bit easier to tell you more about them. If you like this content, I'd ask you to give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel to learn more about what's happening here in our Northeast Florida Zone 9A suburban garden. Until next time, my friends, remember to drink plenty of water and wear your sunscreen. Have a fantastic day.